Now we come to ticks and tocks, sir. Try to say this, Mr. Knox, sir. Clocks on fox tick. Clocks on Knox tock. Six sick bricks tick. Six sick ticks tock. Please, sir, I don't like this trick, sir. My tongue isn't quick or slick, sir. I get it. Ah, yes. Evil spells to cast. Yes. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, oh, hello! I had no idea you were here again. Uh, welcome back to the Library of Horror Hotel in glorious Chatfield, Ohio, where it's time once again for Creepy Cheapies with Dr. Lady. I'm Lutz Ebersdorf, and uh, today's mask is a really, really good one. They're all good ones on Creepy Cheapies. Sometimes they're really good ones. Today is so good you have to say really twice just to cover the, the, the goodness of it. It's so good. It's really, really good. And I will now lurch clumsily off camera to get it. It's this thing, which is called Furking Lear. Ah, uh, Lurking Fear. That's it. Lurking Fear. Yes. Lurking Fear, based on a 1994 movie that you probably didn't see. And if you saw the movie, well, if it was farther back than last night, you may have forgotten it. I know nobody likes the movie very much. I know. But let's not hold that against the monster, shall we? Because the monster is, I think, is just fantastic. I think this is one of the best monster makeups of the 90s. I really do. Despite the movie being less than stellar. Uh, and, and, you know, let's remember, monsters have feelings too. Um, you know, I, I worked on some less than Academy Award uh, winning uh, pictures, motion pictures in my day, and I don't feel like I'm any less the man for it because I tried to do my part to the best of my ability and I tried to do what I thought was expected of me and what was needed of me and what was good for the movie. See, by the same token, sometimes the monster is in there pitching. The monster is being scary and being a good monster and doing his very best to elevate the movie around him even when the movie might have a script that isn't deserving of such a great monster. Now, the movie is supposedly based on a story by H.P. Lovecraft, but it's very loosely based on that. It's not an exact uh, uh, telling of that uh, Lovecraft story. However, the mask, which I have mentioned, I think is so great, uh, sculpted by Justin Mabry, the fantastically talented guy who sculpts a lot of stuff for uh, Trick or Treat Studios, like this guy. Uh, sculpted by Justin Mabry, based on the uh, makeups from the movie, based on the monster, designed by Norman Cabrera and Wayne Toth. And I've seen some of Wayne's other work, and this actually looks kind of Wayne Tothy. Tothy? Tothesque? Toth Tothy-like? Tothified? It looks a little bit like something he would have uh, sculpted. Now I just have uh, this standing on a piece of uh, four inch, I think, uh, PVC pipe that cost about a buck down at the Chatfield Hardware, so that's always a low-cost option for you fellow cheapskates of mine who have to be economical about displaying your masks. This mask sells for neighborhood of 60 to 70 bucks. It's a 2019 release. It was sculpted a little before that by Justin, before um, before they actually had the uh, the rights to the character secured. But uh, what a great, great monster! Um, again, why do I like this thing so much? Well, uh, he's, he's got sort of a, a simplicity that's almost elegant. He's, he's really ugly and really scary, and yet uh, he's, he's not overdone, overly detailed or overly designy looking. He's just creepy looking, you know? And he's got these uh, big oversized soulless eyes that are super dramatic, and he's got this big pale slightly misshapen face that's all pale and pasty and, and yes you are paler and pastier than I am thank you uh, and, and he's got just a few thin wisps of stringy uh, hair on there the white hair that's all creepy and spooky looking and the nice thing is uh, combining his the big staring soulless empty eyes and this nasty uh, set of teeth that he has here his teeth look really bad, like nobody ever taught him to, you know, floss after every corpse. So his teeth don't look at all healthy. The end result of this is, is a, a character with an expression that is completely unreasonable looking and yet recognizably human. And I think it really works. And uh, he has 
He does have a slit up the back. The hair pretty much covers it. The wearer sees out of little slits above his big nasty eyeballs and uh, and like that. And that pretty much sums up the Justin Mabry sculpture of the Norman Cabrera Wayne Toth monster Lurking Fear. There's more than one of these guys in the movie. There's more than one Lurking Fear monster, but this is kind of the one that, uh, you know, is kind of the, the emblem, the icon of uh, the movie and the story and kind of the ep epitome of the uh, the makeup design. But uh, I think even if you don't know what that movie is and you never heard of the movie, doesn't matter. Super great mask. Uh, definitely worth the money, I think. And if you're using it in the haunted house, you wouldn't even have to use it as a lurking fear monster. You could use it as a ghost or a zombie or even like a radiation mutant or a mutated crazy guy or something because it's kind of a, got a good all-purpose uh, classic monster look to it, old lurking fear. So uh, keep lurking here and uh, we'll see you again for another Creepy Cheapies, I hope, if he and I survive that long.